Here's an exclusive first look at the all new season of Homicide Hunter. I'm investigating a multiple gunshot bloodbath in a townhouse. How you doing? So what's going on? We've got two shot. We've got one uh, transported to St. Francis already. The other one didn't make it. 25-year-old male, Freddie Hill, he's at the hospital. He had several gunshot wounds, arm and to the chest area. He was alive at the scene, transported from the scene to a local hospital for emergency treatment. The victim, 27-year-old Pamela Edwards, leaves behind an estranged husband and two little girls. Pam was a nurse's aide. She had a good job. She was a responsible worker. She was apparently just a really attractive personality. Hey, Brian. Hey, Lieutenant. Kenda directs his attention across the room to the body of Pamela Edwards. Pamela is at the base of the stairs, lying in a fetal position. There is a growing pool of blood under her. So what do we got? Gunshots, just all over. Three that we found so far. We got left hand, abdomen, last one clipped her heart. Pamela Edwards has been shot and shot and shot and shot. One literally tearing her heart. Was this horrific crime an act of random violence or a targeted killing? The thing I noticed most, there's a live round next to the female. Now that's significant because the shooter is so angry that he racks the slide of that pistol to make sure it's loaded and he ejects a live round before he starts shooting. That speaks to the level of intent of your shooter. Kenda is beginning to suspect the double shooting was personal in nature, and he knows a simple way to prove his theory. Any signs of force entry? I look at the front door, which is very close to where the first victim is discovered. How did this perpetrator get in here? Forced entry is indicative of a stranger case. Did he force his way in? Was he invited in? The front door did not show signs of damage as in the result of being kicked in. But that's when Detective Brian Ritz notices something unusual. Well, that's weird. Hey, look at this. Some scuff marks on the lower portion of the door may be consistent with somebody kicking at the door, trying to knock loudly with their foot. It looks like somebody's pissed. Whoever it is is extremely emotional before he even gets inside. But despite the aggressive behavior, Pam or Freddie let that person in. Now, when you have multiple victims in a shooting in a private home, then you always have this question. Who's the target? I got to say my money's on the girl. You know, it's her place. And it's most likely. Too soon to know yet, though. Where's the witness, uh, the girl that called 911? She's up in the master bedroom. She didn't vacate the premises? We had to let her stay, Lieutenant. She's up there with the victim's two daughters. There's kids? Yes. We've got two kids upstairs. What? It's kind of contrary to normal procedures, but for the mental security of the children, uh, it's best that they did not have to see her mother laying at the foot of the stairs dead. Um, they're just in here. OK. According to responding officers when they first arrived, Pam's daughters were already in her bedroom, Lamaya, age 8, and Tanaya, age 7. They've been doing OK? Um, they're OK for right now. We're just all still in shock. OK. Hey, girls, you doing OK? I remember the police came, and they told us that we could not leave because it was a crime scene. You two just sit tight, OK? I'll check back on you a little bit. Everybody there was like great officers. Like, seriously, they protected me and my sister as well. We were in that room a long time. There's nothing more horrible in a crime scene than children. Children don't understand death. They don't know that it's final, and you can't fix it. You can't tell them it's going to be OK, because it's not going to be OK. Kenda now faces the grim task of questioning Gwen about the murder of the girl's mother. Gwen, can I come in for a second? I'm a police officer. Uh, sure. And I open the door, and 
The little girls are there. It's a horrible emotional event. You have this overwhelming feeling. I'd just like to make this go away for them. I'm Lieutenant Kendrick. Uh, can I ask you a few questions? Hey, girls. Kenda's heart goes out to Tanaya and Lamaya, and their pain only strengthens his determination to solve the case. It's just not fair. Pam was such a sweet person. She never deserved to be a target. Target. And I thought that was an interesting choice of a word. What do you mean by target? Do you know someone that was out to get her? She's got this crazy ex-boyfriend who, who won't leave her alone. I mean, it's got to be him. Oh, really? Now this could mean it all right here. There's going to be a judgment day, and it happens to be today. Homicide Hunter, all new season on an all new night. Wednesday, August 24th at 10, only on Investigation Discovery.